Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey there, Locker Gnome. This is Matt Ryan, a.k.a. The Frugal Geek. And recently, we had a blooper reel go up with an intro. And the intro was basically one I threw together so that the clips made sense. Uh, without the context of it being a blooper reel, it's often kind of hard to understand exactly why all these mistakes are going on inside of a video. Uh, so... For that reason, we put together an intro, and I threw it in there. And an overwhelming number of comments, uh, even compared to the comments about the bloopers themselves, was about the intro, and how, how do you do the intro? What's the intro all about? How can I get this intro in my videos? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I did that intro, so that uh, you'll be able to add it to your own videos uh, through Final Cut Pro 10. All right, well, what I have here is a Final Cut Pro window open, and I have a new project set up, and it's uh, basically a 30 frame per second, 720p uh, video I'm wanting to make. So I set everything up the way it should be, and I have a blank slate here. Uh, you can do this with clips already in place. However, um, I do recommend uh, setting it up first so that you have a better idea of exactly what the context is. If your first clip doesn't flow well with the intro you make, the entire uh, the entire video is going to be thrown off by that. So I would recommend making the intro first and then assembling your clips based on how they play with the intro, the music, uh, the motion, what have you. All right, so I have the blank slate set up and I want to add the intro video. All you have to do here, while this seems like it would make sense, the uh, themes browser, it's actually the titles menu you're going to want to take a look at. And once you click here, a window opens up with a set of options here. These are categories for the titles. You can do all, build in and out, bumper, opener, credits, elements, lower thirds, uh, what have you. What we're going to want to look at for this particular uh, operation is bumper opener. And what these are, these are set up titles that are made to make your video look a certain way as the opening credits. Uh, this saves you a lot of time in After Effects or Motion, which are two great opener uh, editing programs that allow you to do 3D spaces and what have you. But they can be timely, and you do have to learn how to use the program. So a quick and dirty way of doing just about anything is by going to the preset pre-made Final Cut Pro bumpers. And there are a few here to choose from. They do, They all do fairly interesting things. This one looks like a puddle of water. Uh, there's there's one here for keynotes does a little video here it's very interesting uh, the one that I want to look at right here is splash ink splats and that's what we use for the bumper video I'm gonna go ahead and click that drag it over it's a left click uh, I'm gonna drag that over there and I'm gonna tell it this is a 720p HD video and the frame rate is going to be 30 frames per second. You want to base the frame rate off of the video files you're going to be adding to your overall video. And the reason for this is frame rate conversion is very tricky. Dropped frames can cause a number of issues. So you want to make sure that the frame rate you choose for your bumper is the same as the frame rate of the source videos that you're using to edit with. In this case, 30 frames per second. 29.97 is, it seems so close, but trust me, if your videos are not 29.97 and they're 30, it's going to throw it off. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and go with 30. I'm going to hit OK. And already we've got the intro pretty much all the way made, except for the very end where the text needs to go right there. I'm going to hit spacebar, which pauses it. That way I can move over to the viewer, double click, and set the text. I'm just going to call that locker gnome. The bottom one, I double click again, and I'm going to type in bloopers. Now one thing that's kind of interesting is you are able, using this over here, which is your properties uh, area, you can customize what the text says, for, for example, um, I could change the text right here if I wanted to, uh, but also the font. And with Locker Gnome, we use SF and Televised, which is a fun font. I mean, everything looks like it's capital, but you can tell the large letters because they're a little bit bigger. The Vs are also really, really cool looking. And whenever we put in live.perillo.com, 
uh, for example, it, it looks good. So that's why we picked that font. And I'm going to go over to bloopers, double click on that, set the font, that one also to SF and televised. And I'm going to make that one a little bit bigger. I'm going to make that a 50 because it's hard to read that one for some reason. All right, so now we have the fonts all set up and ready to go. And I'm going to run this one more time just to make sure everything looks the way it should. Got it going through and down and splat. So right there, about nine seconds in, you could actually cut the intro. And what I mean by that is once the motion stops, right there, you could cut it with the blade. Okay, now that you have your video uh, all set up and ready to go, everything looks good, your text is in place, all you need to do now is add some music. And this music will basically kind of define the beginning of your video. Your first clip will depend so much on the, the tone that the music sets. So in this case, we're going to look for a song that, uh, that matches the intro, that matches the look of it, and matches the first clip. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and go to the little music thing here, which is music and sound. It's a little button here, looks like a little note. And we're going to select uh, out of this list of all these possible sources for the files, iLife sound effects, jingles. These are royalty free jingles. The one downside of these is so many people use them. So many different podcasts use the same jingles because there's only about a dozen of them to choose from and the royalty free so nobody has to buy the licensing there's no exclusivity uh, so whenever we put the bloopers reel out a lot of people recognize that jingle and said wow you're copying somebody else not really uh, somebody else is just using the same free jingles we are alright so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with Chase Lounge or, or Shay's Lounge however you want to pronounce that and I'm gonna click it that's a single left click and a drag over to the clip. What I'm going to do here is try to pair the audio with the motion. So I'm going to give it a quick listen, see if things seem to match up. If not, I'm going to have to shift a couple things around and make it sound better. So here we go. All right, that actually ended up rather perfect. Uh, what I'm going to do here though is I'm going to trim a little bit of the dead space off the end of the clip uh, which is where everything's kind of paused and that's supposed to be there for music but since this clip ends so much earlier uh, that little trim off the end won't hurt anything so I'm going to give it a quick listen at the very end and see if uh, what I've done has negatively affected the overall look of the clip in general okay so the final beat matches the final major motion of the intro and we have a pretty solid intro here. So at this point, uh, you can go ahead and start editing the rest of your clip in this space over to the right, uh, adding it all on, mastering it, what have you. Uh, but for the intro, it is pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, send the intro itself to Compressor. I use Compressor 4, which is made basically to pair with Final Cut uh, Pro 10, uh, which is a really nice thing. I'm going to use a preset. It's called Perillo Render and a destination. I'm going to make it the desktop since I'm not sending that one to our Dropbox and I'm going to hit submit and there we go in roughly about three or four minutes I should have a 720p clip uh, worth watching so we'll return then in three or four minutes uh, to see how it worked.